spider floor mats. Let's open them. Let's do it. Boom. Kind of nice there, look. Factory spider print. This is the passenger one. It's always the bigger one. And then it even has a little hole here, just like factory. Let me just show you. I have these ones that were basically pieces of junk. Um, so what I did was I just painted them black. Um, then I ended up painting the Spider logo red because originally these were tan. Just like this carpet was tan and I once painted it. But I need to replace it and just put probably a black carpet in here. Um, so, take a look at this. It's definitely the same pattern, I can tell. And this is literally the hardest uh, part to get for a spider. So, I will take this dirty one out. Just to show you for comparison. There's the dirty one. So boom, you can see. Same contour. I did paint this black at one point as well, but it was originally uh, chrome, like a metal piece. Um, you can actually see these had holes in it. So I, they did look fresh at one point. They're obviously filthy. But what I did with those holes is I just put a piece of uh, black material on the back of it like three years ago. I'll put the link in the description below uh, to find the guy. I got him off of Instagram. His uh, Instagram name is Gentleman Built. Uh, Marco Anderson, I believe, is his... Uh, his real life name, I will, uh, like I said, I'll put a, I'll put a link in the description below. I'll put his info down there so you can check it out. But like I said, this used to be tan. Ooh, there they are. So I would uh, definitely consider uh, purchasing these. And uh, to be honest with you, they were cheaper than buying OEM floor mats. No, not that you can find these in OEM. You can only find regular clips. But these are actually cheaper uh, than OEM ones. And the fit and finish is real good. I mean, it's stitched in there, it's embroidered in there. Looks good, I like how it's all black behind here. So I don't even want to put these in my car until like, I don't know, summertime. Weather out is pretty crappy, so these will be uh, my winter mats, I guess. And uh, yeah. Like I said, I want to replace this carpet anyways. And eventually, um, just clean up the whole interior. I mean, it's all black, 99 swapped interior. Uh, some random things I painted, the glove box. Um, I painted these inserts because they were originally gray ones, even though they do make black on black. I just didn't have them. Painted the visors black. Everything's held up pretty well. Even though she's kind of a garage queen anyways. So, uh, simple setup. 35R turbo. 2.3 stroker. Somewhat built automatic transmission. Got all the kiggly goodness in there. Um, tile wastegate. NGR type S style blow off valve. Uh, Martin at arc four speed. Helping out with uh, this whole build basically. Um, so yeah, this is a fun little street car, E85 flex fuel, uh, 30 PSI for now until we get some track time, and then we will go from there. Carbonetics, carbonetics, carbonetics. Bar poop. Carbonetics. And I have a video on this little I don't know if you want to call it 2GB town diffuser that I kind of made. Um, just because they don't make anything for the town. I do have the 2G uh, side pieces that Sergio Carbonetics makes. I had them on the car for a while. 
but I'm gonna run with this for a while. I still got it uh, mounted a little better, but yeah, I have a video on that too. So if I remember, I'll put that link in the description. If I don't remember, you can obviously just uh, check out my uh, YouTube page and see. Got some wheel woods on here, which I recently added this year. So gotta get her to the track. Gotta uh, see if the brakes will hold her and launch her, which they should. Uh, if not, drive her mod, but yeah. Small front mount intercooler, punishment racing, CX uh, racing style, cheap one, just so I could fit the OEM fogs. But all right, I'm done rambling. See you guys.